Hello, in this tutorial I'll be demonstrating how to create a shiny power button like the one shown here and for this example I'll be using Inkscape version 0.48 To start I'm going to draw a circle and to do that I'm going to select the circle tool from the panel on the left then I'm going to press and hold control key and left mouse button and drag across like that now I'm going to resize it. So first let's select our circle with the select tool. Then you can see that the panel above has changed and it's showing different object tools. Now let's change the circle width and height to 400 pixels. Next I'm going to pick the basic green from the color palette below. Then I'm going to change the stroke a little bit. I will press and hold shift key and then select the same green. You will also see a small digit next to your stroke color. Um, it's the object stroke value. I'm going to change it by right clicking on it with a mouse. It will open a small window where I can set the stroke width to 3 pixels. Now I'm going to darken up the stroke a little bit and I'm going to uh, select the fill and stroke tool from the panel above then I'm going to select the second tab the stroke paint and from the HSL palette I'm going to lower the lightness from 64 to let's say 44 now I will duplicate the circle by pressing ctrl and D key then I will change the color of that copy to black both fill and stroke so select the black and then select the black again while holding the shift key now let's move this black circle behind the green one so go to the top panel move our circle to the bottom and now as it's behind the green one but still selected I'm going to add some blur from this fill and stroke menu I will change the blur from uh, 0 to Two, and you can see this has created a um, little bit of shadow behind the circle. Now I'm going to add some glow to our button by adding brighter colors and a bit of uh, light green gradient. So first duplicate the top circle again then make that copy smaller by holding this arrow here together with the shift and control key. Now go down and remove the stroke by right clicking on the stroke color and select remove stroke then select the bright green from the fill and stroke menu on your right you can set it by uh, changing the hue value to 50 then leave uh, saturation as it is then um, change the lightness to 120 and using the alpha channel decrease the opacity to 190 which will give us um, the nice light green slightly transparent effect then set the blur to 20 and now I'm going to add a gradient so make another copy by pressing ctrl D again and from the left hand side panel select the gradient tool and at the top left hand side corner you will see a couple of square buttons. The first one creates a linear gradient and the second one is for radial gradient. So click at the second one and once it's selected left click and hold in the middle of it of the circle and drag to the um, top of a circle border um, till about there and then release. You will see that the gradient was created now and it's showing two lines connected in the center with a um, small square. So click on that square to select it and change its color to yellow. Then from the fill and stroke menu increase the lightness to 220. Then we need to create a power on off symbol that uh, will appear in the middle of our button. So first select the circle tool and draw it while holding control key and click on the select arrow and change the width and height to 200 pixels then remove the fill and change the stroke color to the main green 
and um, to change that circle into the on off shape I'm going to go to the main menu select the path and object to path from the list and this will allow us to modify the shape as we want then select the edit pass by nodes tool from the left hand side panel and now we can see the four nodes around the circle and if you select the top one you will be able to see um, its handles now we are going to cut that piece at the top but to make it even we're going to use grids as our guides so move your cursor up to the top of the ruler and then click hold and drag the grid towards the circle and release it once it's um, at about um, here and then we are going to add two nodes at the points where um, the grid and the circle stroke are crossing so to do that double click where you want your nodes to be created like that now you can delete the grid then um, single click outside the circle and press and hold the shift key and then click and hold outside the object and drag across the top three nodes to select them at once and release then go to the top panel and select the fourth button from the left the break path at selected nodes now click at the top one and press delete and repeat that again now press the select tool then go to the fill and stroke menu click on the third tab the stroke style and set the stroke width to 30 and select round cup now select the align and distribute tool from the top panel then select the main circle first then hold shift button and select the second shape then set it relative to to first selected then align vertically like that then click here to align it horizontally then choose the Bezier tool from the left hand side panel left click to start drawing like that then hold control and move up and left click again then right click to finish now click on the select tool then at the top panel change width to um, 0 0.1 pixel and height to 100 pixels then move down and make sure the stroke is green now go to fill and stroke and from the stroke style set the width to 30 and set the round cup now position the line towards the first shape so the two thirds of it are inside the circle then select the outside shape first and while holding a shift key select the line and then align the line <laughs> vertically like that then go to the top panel and select the group selected objects to group them together then press ctrl D to make another copy and change its stroke color to yellow then add the blur three should be enough and move object one level down by clicking at the top button over here then the last thing that I want to do is add some shine to this so I will click on the big circle uh, make sure it's not the smaller one in the middle so make a copy of this by pressing ctrl D change its color to white and remove the stroke then I'll grab this arrow down here and move it up a bit while holding control key and this will allow me to change the size of that circle proportionally without changing the position of the top of that shape so now let's hold the arrow on the this side here and move it to the right holding the shift button that way um, both the left and the right edge of the circle will change at the same time next go to the gradient tool here and click on it then choose the linear gradient from the top then click somewhere at the top of that shape and drag down to about here so the bottom edge is almost transparent and that's how you can make a shiny button with a power on off shape in the middle hope you liked this video please subscribe and thanks for watching